वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन लेक्चर फोर ऑफ साइंस लेसन फर्स्ट नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द इफेक्ट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर राधर वुड से द मेजर इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ प्रेशर एज वी हैव लर्न दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ चेंज इन प्रेशर इन सॉलिड देर इज ऑलमोस्ट नो चेंज बट इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू वन एक्सपेरिमेंट अ सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट यू कैन परफॉर्म एट होम ऑल्सो take a round a larger one injection and you fill up some water inside don't take a syringe and try to press up as you are seeing and you will find that as much you pressure you apply don't allow the water to come outside that the water is not coming out and you will see that the syringe is not pressing up and uh, the water is not uh, coming out also and the water is not getting compressed also that means the capability of water getting compressed is almost negligible in the same way now we are putting the only the air and filling up the injection empty that is only filling up the air and now see we are closing up and pressing it up so we are able to see k the uh, syringe is getting compressed around and when we are leaving it is getting back the piston is getting back upon so that shows that the uh, gas is quietly uh, highly compressible compared to that of the liquid the same phenomena of compressibility of gas if we are going to show in our daily life we make lot of gases like oxygen nitrogen that we are that we are filling in bags uh, that is uh, food bags that we are eating uh, ch chips and all and even the carbon dioxide gas the carbon dioxide gas we compress it with a reduction in temperature in surrounding and immediately we find with a reduction in temperature in surrounding we compress up the gas i will show you an experiment in uh, in a common way we are going to take fire extinguisher and this fire extinguisher we are opening up but before opening up to allow the carbon dioxide gas to come out because fire extinguisher what it does it allows the carbon dioxide gas to come out so it produces carbon dioxide gas now this carbon dioxide gas with an high pressure it is coming out so on the nozzle where it is throwing it out we are put going to put a uh, towel and you are able to see as the towel is not allowing the carbon dioxide to come out and uh, with that is creating high pressure and there is a reduction in temperature because it is coming out from the small nozzle and coming out in the last cylinder which is in op open atmosphere so it is uh, making the reduction in temperature and with an high amount of pressure and see the towel has been removed and you will see the crystals directly converting from gas to solid that is maybe it must have completed in com uh, converted into liquid also in inside but uh, the coming out substance is solid which is called as a dry ice so we are uh, able to produce dry ice likewise also don't try all these things at home because this may be risky also for you because it's a carbon dioxide gas and the dry ice which is going to be formed is highly acidic and if you directly going to take in your naked hands it might burn your hands also fine so this particular uh, topic that is effects of uh, change of pressure and temperature we understand that by uh, reducing the temperature and increasing the pressure we are converting the gas substances into solid or liquid substances according to our requirements like oxygen we make in the form of liquid nitrogen we make in the form of liquid and we collect it and keep in to fill up the cylinders also like cng uh, lpg all this also we do in the same manner now the next topic we are going to take is a uh, large topic uh, which is affects is evaporation now what is the word is evaporation is so evaporation means basically a phenomena of change of liquid into vapors at any temperature below its boiling point is called as an evaporation now if you co focus on the words this is a phenomena basically what it is it's a phenomena it's a uh, phenomena uh, of change of liquid into uh, sorry uh, uh, liquid substance into gaseous substances now this happens as we have learned in uh, that uh, at boiling point we have seen many times uh, before lectures also we have learned that at boiling point liquid turns into gaseous substances and all but when you keep the tea for boiling for keeping the tea you see that the uh, water is getting slightly heated and when it is getting heated it does not make sense uh, that at actual boiling point only the vapor, uh, gas is formed you are able to see that some of the molecules are gaining kinetic energy and before boiling point also some of the molecules are turning into gaseous form this formation of before boiling point is called as vapors right in generally in, at boiling point we say it's a liquid transformation to gas as an phase change 
but before that we use a word as vapors vapors actually means at before boiling point that means from 0 to 99 i would like to speak but at 100 it turns to gas but we don't say it's a vapors but before that we use the word as vapors it's the same thing by large we speak out this phenomena happening as an evaporation process so what is an evaporation is that before boiling point before boiling point the molecules get kinetic energy and turns to vapors right and this vaporization of uh, liquid that is water molecules into gaseous form that is vapors form is known as evaporation so we see this phenomenon of evaporation many places at home also it is clean with water our tiles and all so we see that the water molecules in a uh, few minutes of time we see they get evaporated so these are the simple things we see for evaporation so these are the evaporation that uh, uh, liquid particles gain kinetic energy and get comes out of the force of attraction of the molecules and all. Now there are four basic, basic factors which affects the rate of evaporation. Now four basic factors for uh, rate of evaporation first we will take as a surface area that increase in surface area how the process of evaporation can be increased. So <coughs> when you increase the surface area yes I was giving the example of tea. So if you take out the tea from the cup and take it and pour it into your saucer, you see that the saucer surface area is quite large compared to that of the uh, cup. So this cup, the evaporation process which was going on and removing the tea, uh, now you are able to see that uh, in saucer it has become very fast. So due to increase in the surface area, you will see the evaporation process is very fast. In the same way as I was stalling, uh, telling for you for staining the tiles and all, so what we do? Uh, the water is actually before filled up into the uh, uh, that is bucket and all. Now, uh, if we take out the same water and uh, put it on the tiles and clean the tiles, we will say that that particular water compared to that bucket gets evaporated very fast. Why? Because the bucket, the surface area is very small and now this water is been spread in the entire room. So, the evaporation process becomes very, very, very fast, right? So, increasing surface area, so you can say. Now the same way I will give you the example for clothes that if I take the clothes and we wash up the clothes in washing machine nowadays and make it dry also but if they are still wet now if I fold those clothes and put it on the uh, any wire to dry it up then it will dry very slowly because it has been folded multiple times but if the same clothes if I dry it up spreading on that particular 3 to 4 wire we see that the spreading it out the clothes makes the surface area very large and the same way we are able to see that the evaporation process happens very fast. Uh, increase in temperature, the second point is increase in temperature to increase the rate of evaporation. Now to increase the temperature, uh, obviously the same clothes if you see that in uh, uh, winter season they do not get dry very fast but in the same case in summer season within few minutes or hours only, in an hour only we see that the clothes are getting very fast dry. The reason behind is the uh, large amount of heat energy falling on those clothes and in the noon time specially we see that it gets very fast dry up because the amount of temperature is uh, have gone risen up very high because of the high amount of heat energy the same way the kinetic energy of the molecules increases and it dries up very fast. So this is an uh, uh, example for increasing temperature obviously kinetic energy increases and the drying up process becomes very fast. Now the third is the decrease in humidity. Now, uh, what do you understand by humidity is the amount of water molecules present inside the uh, air that is called as an humidity. The same example of drying of the clothes I will continue that in monsoon season basically if you dry up the clothes what you see that the, even the sunlight is falling it is not getting dry up very fast because the cloudy cloudy area first of all and if it had rained uh, in the previous night the next day you see lot of amount of moisture inside the uh, atmosphere and due to the water molecules already present in high amount in air, the air is not capable of carrying the another water molecules from the surrounding. So what happens that the air is air has got the humidity 80 percentage, 90 percentage, already 90 percentage air is filled up with water molecules. Now it has got very less space for the another water molecules to come out. So they do not take out the water molecules and just because of that high amount of humidity, the rate of evaporation decreases, right? Now there is a very high humidity, you see you keep out the plate outside of water, it does not get even your tiles when you are staining as I told you and if you clean the tiles in monsoon season, you see that the humidity is very high and you feel that it is sticky 
and not getting dry up very fast. The reason is same is the humidity. Now increasing the wind speed. So what we do that the next example I would continue that if you have strained your tiles and it is a monsoon season. So to remove that water molecules you open up your windows and you make your fans very on. That is full speed. So what happens that the fan rotates the air and throws out some of the air outside the room which has got a high amount of moisture because of it the, the, when the moisture goes away outside your room slightly uh, becoming uh, whatever the water molecules has evaporated it has been thrown out of your uh, rooms and uh, the fresh air enters inside it again carries the sum of the water molecules. So just doing so with a rotation of fan it uh, that is a high speed of wind you see that this drying process becomes very high. In the same way if the wind is blowing outside also and if you dry up the clothes and the wind speed is very high you see that the drying uh, speed becomes very fast just because the wind carries away the moisture uh, surrounding that particular substance which is carrying the water yeah evaporation of the water is happening it carries away. Now the fresh air which is coming is still empty with those moisture particles uh, that is uh, water particles and again the wind is being blown away so another water molecules can come out. So this is how the speed of wind also plays an important role. So four points we learn as in factors which are related uh, with the evaporation process. First is increase in surface area, increase in temperature, uh, increase in surface area, increase in temperature, decrease in humidity. That if you want to increase the rate of evaporation, you need to decrease the humidity. And the last is speed of the wind. If the speed of the wind is high, then also it happens so. Fine. So, in, uh, we'll keep up till here for this lecture. Thank you.